formation. A new formation we haven't seen today. Thompson takes a snap a little low, gets control, and now is going to have to take off and throws it into the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown eight yards deep. The receiver is there and pulls it in, and the Wagner Seahawks have a 6 nothing lead. Well, Alex, if Duquesne well, needed to wake up. Beekle hands off, and that time, Douglas, even with a good second effort, wow. takes it in. He was hit hard, but the fake Douglas took it into the end zone. Tremendous second effort that time. I'm trying to see, he was hit by, I think, Devontae Bennett, the senior nose tackle for the Seahawks. Boy, and, and that's a big boy who hit him, 6'4", 280. Rafiq Douglas goes 6'2", 200. And right. that power went back when he, when yeah. he hit him. I, when and I he, saw that hit, he I'm kept like, yeah, forward yeah. progress going, and he kept his legs going and went into the end zone. Austin Crimmins to attempt the point after here, trying to tie this game up and at left. seven. Wayne Capers to the boundary right. And Alex, it's one on one with Chris King on the outside. No safety top, oh, no safety help over the top. And a little slant to King makes the catch, spins away from the tackle inside the 15, 10, 5. Chris King goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, I thought they may take a shot deep. Instead, they run a little slant, hit him. He does a nice job. As soon as he caught it, he spun to the outside. The momentum of the defensive back coming up to make the tackle took him inside, and he wasn't able to break down. So King was just a foot race between him and the safety that was coming all the way over, and that's no contest. Chris Five King line, just underway in quarter number three. Again, the safeties are walked up as such that there's really no help over the top. Hand off to Douglas. Again, Douglas explodes over the 45 midfield, 45-40. He's high, stepping it into the end zone for a Duquesne touchdown. Douglas on the carry. Like a rubber band, it keeps stretching it, stretching it, stretching it. Eventually, it's going to break, and Douglas broke. And Alex, I said the safeties were walking up almost like they were in run support, but when the play snapped, they took poor angles on that play. All Rafiq Douglas did was bounce it outside. I mean, the left tackle did a nice job of sealing Dan Buckholz, and the wide receiver did a nice block on the cornerback. But after that, there was no one there. Yep. Seahawks well, up to the line. Here they come. Wide out slot, left to the formation. Alex Thompson, arms outstretched, hands it off. Oh, nice right. Job. Finds the seam on the left and immediately, what a hit. Well, first of all, credit Nathan Stone. He came out of nowhere and sealed it off to, to force the running back to cut it up right into Troy Gathers, and we have a late flag, which most likely will be unsportsmanlike conduct with all the players that came onto the field for the Dukes. But that ball, what a hit by Gathers. Perfect form tackle, helmet on football, football pops out, and Duquesne falls on that. And you would think because of the lateness of these flags, Totally took control of this game in the second half. Third down a yard to go, ball on the eight yard line for Duquesne, trying to add to their 21 to 10 lead. And it's gonna hand off to Douglas. Second effort gets Douglas the end zone. Good second effort. And Rafiq Douglas takes it in from eight yards out. Well, it seems like I might get to know Rafiq Douglas a little better this week, being that uh, he might be that one of our uh, people we try to get to speak to, but Rafi Rafiq Douglas scores his third touchdown of the game in the process, sets a new career high for 180 rushing yards on 20 carries. Just a Here tremendous day. From the 29 yard line, they go with Green and a trio of receivers all out on that left side, but it's gonna be oh, Loftus who gets drilled. And, and that's a fumble, his arm was not Nathan going forward. Nathan Stone came up to make the big hit and Duquesne recovers. Loftus just got drilled by Nathan Stone, and the ball loose, and the Duquesne defense comes up big. What a play that time. 8.22 to go in the game. Wagner trying to get into the end zone here. First down and goal. Ball on the four-yard line of Duquesne. And it's going to be a handoff, and it's going to be Otis right into the end zone from four yards out. And just like that, Wagner back on the scoreboard. Otis Wright had uh, very few tackles to break in. Rot, third down and nine. So let's give it to him. He gets the first down, and then he gets his record. Hands off to Enright. And it's going to be a throw by Beekle looking in the back of the end zone. Capers there makes the snag. Touchdown, Duquesne. 15 yards Beekle out, and a great snag by yards. Capers. Tremendous play when you're not expecting them to throw the football.